I think the first thing you probably have to get used to with this type of question is to realize that if you have a nickel, right, that this is equal to, or can be thought of simply as 0 0.05. Maybe, Tim, do you want to explain that and lead us to how we would write uh, a dime as well? So the way that I see it is that a whole number represents the number of dollars. And a nickel is five cents, which is five one hundredths of a dollar. And so that's why we write it as 0 0.05. Similarly, a dime is worth 10 cents, or one-tenth of a dollar. So we can write it as 0.1 or 0 0.10. Oh, yeah, that's right. Now, I wrote 0 0.01. What am I thinking of? A penny. A penny would be one cent, one one hundredth. Gotcha. So right. one-tenth is 10 over 100. But like you said, we could just write 0.1. Mm -hmm. Now that's the, and we can keep going. Let's just, for fun, do some other common coins, right? What would a quarter be, uh, Tim? Walks to the quarter and what's left? The penny and the half dollar, I guess. A quarter would be 0.25 because it's 25 cents over 100 cents in a dollar, which is 0.25. Right. And... Yep. And what do we forget? Oh, penny. Pennies, right. Pennies would just be 0.01 because it's one cent out of 100 cents in a dollar. Right, and then I guess if you see a half dollar, it would be 0 0.5. But I guess we're just stressing this because you have to begin to think of, for these types of problems in algebra in general, when you see the word nickel, think 0 0.05. When you see dime, think 0 0.10, quarter, 0 0.25, and penny, 0 0.01. Uh, that's when the context is including dollars and, and cents. If you're only counting pennies though, or just the coins, you could then think of these in terms of pennies. In that case, like if I was just, no dollars, if you're only talking about pennies, then you would say nickel is equal to five, as in five pennies, a dime is 10, 10 pennies, and so forth. Uh, the quarter would be 25. But here, remember, we're looking at things in terms of dollars and cents. So like Tim said earlier, dollars represent the whole values and coins represent the decimal values. So when that happens, think of the nickel as 0 0.05 and, and so forth. And you can see them in the equation, right? Before you get overwhelmed by these equations here, realize they all equal the same amount, right? They all add to $1.35, we were just told that. And then from there, it's just a matter of reshuffling the nickel, 0 0.05, and the dime, 0 0.1. Um, now, I think initially you might be to tossing up between one and two. And I think they tell us in the problem that uh, the key phrase where there is six more dimes than nickels. So I'll explain my way of dealing with this, and maybe Tim will add to that. I think of nickels as, as X, right? And the reason I think of nickels as X is because the amount of dimes work we have, right? We're told not how many dimes we have. We're told how many dimes we have more than nickels. So that tells me start with nickels as X, and then dimes would be the amount of nickels plus six, right? So, so we're defining the dimes in terms of nickels. Do you want to add anything to that, Tim? You thought the same thing? Mm -hmm. Is that right? Okay. I agree. So then the next step is, okay, we have to put these things together, right? So it's going to be x plus x plus six in some way. And when we do that, we're going to get 135. Oops, 135. Now, the, I guess the problem here is the next tricky step, which used to trick me up, but I'll try and explain it, um, is that you have to get used to the idea not only of thinking this is 0 0.05, um, but combining that with x. x represents what? Well, it represents the number of nickels, right? There's some number of nickels, and each nickel is worth 0 0.05. So if I had one nickel, how, what would the money value be of, a, of the, the nickel? Well, it would be one, oops, one times 0 0.05, right? If I had two nickels, it would be two times 0 0.05 and so forth. Same thing with dimes, except dimes we're thinking of in terms of nickels, so we'll get that in a second. I'm showing you this because the step here is it's x is represents the number of dimes, these numbers right here, times 0 0.05. We usually just write it as 0 0.05x. This means some number of nickels. So it's 0 0.05 times x. And that, that tells you the answer already. I think it's, you can see it's 2. The answer is 2 because it's the only one that has 0 0.05 times x, which is exactly what we need. Um, but let's go a little bit further. Why does it say 0 0.1 times x plus 6? Well, x plus 6, Tim, what does that represent? x plus 6 represents the number of dimes. We know that from the problem because it tells us you have 6 more dimes and nickels. 
Right. Now, Tim, in your own words, why don't you explain why do we do the number of dimes time, like why is it times 0 0.10? Well, because even though we're using x, the expression that we have, x plus 6, represents the number of dimes. And to get the value of all of our dimes, we have to multiply by the value of one dime, which is 0 0.10. I'm glad you said that. I think the, the key thing here is to transfer the idea of the number of things we have to the fact that this equation states value, right? And value, in general, is the worth of each coin times the number of coins. And that's happening in both parts. All right, so I hope this helps.